Hey, it's Zebra. Today we'll be doing an analysis of my speedrun of Hellblade EX using Striker Lance. Now, if you haven't seen the full run yet, you should go watch it. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description or maybe on the screen somewhere. I'll be commenting on some of my thoughts and decision making during the run and explaining some of the things that might not be super obvious just from watching the video. Hopefully, this can be insightful or helpful for people in their own hunts, or maybe just entertaining. Let's get to it. After a forward bite like this, Hellblade will always do the big spin move if I'm standing a little bit in front of him after the move is over. I have enough time here to poke his face once and back hop to make sure he goes into the big spin. Because his tail is sharpened, it's actually going to be a double spin, which is one of the best openings to get a lot of damage for Striker Lance. There are a lot of other situations where you can bait out double spin, or just the single spin, depending on where you're standing after certain moves, so you're going to see that a lot. After a single fireball like that, he basically always goes into this charged tail slam, which I like to call a super slam. Now the super slam is probably one of the most intimidating moves that Hellblade EX has, since it'll pretty much kill you guaranteed if you get hit by it. Fortunately, the move is actually pretty lenient for iframing. All you have to do is make sure you move to the side so you don't get hit by the tail itself, and then roll through or hop through the explosion, which isn't too hard to do with some practice. With Lance, all you have to do is guard advance to the side at the right time, that way, even if you mess up and dodge too late for the explosion, your shield will eat the explosion, and you'll take some damage, but at least you won't die. Honestly, I don't know how this missed. This game is dumb. If you're standing behind him after his spin is over, there's a good chance that he's going to turn around and face you with his head. If you follow up with a charge here, you have a really good chance of hitting his head and getting a lot of free damage in. At this point I know that his tail is really low, and if I hit him again it's going to topple him. It takes about 4 charges with Enrage Guard active, plus some change to get him to fall over from hitting his tail when it's sharpened. I also know that during this topple, I'm probably going to pop his throat because I've already hit it a few times and I'm going to hit it a few more times now. Uh, and I want to keep my hunter arts up for the next topple so I can chase him with absolute readiness when he falls over across the map and also use corkscrew jab without losing hits by popping his throat during the middle of the hunter art. This is something that you really don't want to see when you're doing a speedrun, honestly. When he does this sidestep in this direction, that means he's going to back up and throw a fireball at you with his tail, and follow that up with a double slam. It doesn't have the best opening, but because I saw this, I can at least mentally prepare for it. One thing to note is that if his tail is sharpened, the projectile is actually different, and it'll change the evasion timing. It also changes what follow-up moves that he can use, but in this case, because his tail isn't sharpened, he's always going to follow it up with a double slam if I'm standing around here. Usually for the tail slap that's incoming, you want to guard advance and shield bash the tail with Lance. However, because I'm super close to him, I'm not actually going to end up on the opposite side of the tail after he's done with the slap, so I'm just going to guard advance and hold the shield and go right into a charge to hit his head. After the tail slap is over, if you're standing in front of him and to his left, he always goes into the advancing double bite. And after the double bite, he'll follow up with a side bite, and eventually you can lead that into a spin. 
This guaranteed combo of tail slap, double bite, side bite, spin is one of the best combos for a lot of different weapons, and so you're going to see that being abused as much as possible. Unfortunately, I actually staggered him here, so you won't be able to see the tail spin combo finish, but I promise you'll be able to see it later. I know that his tail is close to breaking again, and this time his throat isn't charged so I'm free to use my corkscrew jab on this topple. After this quick bite, he has a few different options. He can back up and go into a super slam, back up and go into a single bite, or he can continue into a tail slam where he's standing. So you actually have to watch and see what he's doing next, otherwise you'll get punished. Here's that tail slap tail spin combo that I was talking about earlier. I really want to make sure to get the throat pop when he's down, because looking at the time, he's going to de-enrage when he gets back up, and he just finished sharpening his tail, and there's a cooldown before he can do it again. If I pop his throat in between, that builds enough buffer time to make sure that he's going to sharpen his tail the next time he enrages, so I'm going to try to get a few extra ticks on these charges while he's down to make sure that it, he falls over again. He's doing the quick bite again, but this time he stops moving, which means I know he's going to back up and either do the super slam or the single bite. Either way, if I start up a charge now, it's going to go right to his head when he turns around. Also, Hybris is online. That's the end of the run. There are a lot of other things I could have talked about and plenty of things about this matchup that didn't get shown in this hunt specifically, but I tried not to get too bogged down in the details this time. I might make a video in the future that talks about this matchup in general, including all of the things that didn't get shown here if people are interested enough. And this is a pretty new type of content for me, so feel free to leave feedback, positive or negative, in the comments, things you liked, didn't like, suggestions for improvements, and so on. I'll keep it in mind if I do something similar in the future. Thanks for watching.